The inspiration behind Project HOPE was that there simply are not enough physicians serving individuals experiencing homelessness across the country. And that is a product of the fact that very few medical students are trained on how to provide competent care to individuals experiencing homelessness. And so with that, we wanted to create a model curriculum that could be implemented at other medical schools across the country so that they could replicate it and train more and more medical students to be competent and to provide empathetic and compassionate care. As an undergrad, um, I worked with some homeless populations back at home in Indiana, and uh, I knew that in South Florida that there was a, a larger population just because of the weather. But I didn't, I didn't really um, plan on working with the homeless as directly as I have been here at Camilla's house. I think it's really taught me to be patient and to tailor the way that I do my medical care to the different populations. This was the first facility where I was able to see patients by myself before presenting them to the physician. I was able to address their concerns in, in my own way. I really want to, to help make sure that they get the best health care that they can and everyone deserves a, a chance to, to have that kind of health care. That's one less thing that they need to worry about. College of Medicine has developed a curriculum that is fully integrated across all four years of medical school with 28 curricular hours. Students have the opportunity to rotate in one or two month increments, specifically serving individuals experiencing homelessness. We have the support of the Center for Psychological Services, and so we also integrate the concept of behavioral health, which is a very major component for these individuals who have multiple comorbidities, as well as a number of different mental health issues and simply the experience of being homeless and not having the basic means that you need to be able to survive is an experience that is traumatic and is depressing in and of itself. And so we focus upon all of these aspects within the curricula that we have established with our medical school faculty to be sure that we're responding appropriately to the needs of this population. I really enjoy the populations we see here and when you're with the patients one-on-one, -on -one, what the time you're spending with them and what you're telling them, even though it might be a really simple thing in your mind, is so much greater in their eyes that you're just taking the time to sit and talk with them, even if it's something simple about diet or exercise or um, how to take their medicines, and they're just really appreciative of it. It's the first place I've seen patients on my own and been able to spend time with, or as much time as I really want with the patients without feeling like I'm being rushed or anything. And so that makes me feel good just because I feel like I've learned how to do a patient interview, I've learned how to do the physical exam, and I've come into my own a little bit in how I like to organize the interview and the physical exam and make sure that I'm responding to them in an appropriate way and not cutting them off, asking open-ended questions. And it's amazing what you'll get out of someone by just asking what's going on today. Sometimes I just sit and write for the 20 minutes I'm with the patient and, as opposed to even asking a question. In that way, I feel like I've grown as a medical student. We would very much like to expand Project HOPE across the health profession division areas, including dentistry, uh, physician assistant, nursing programs, because homeless healthcare by nature is team-based. And it, we would like to see that this curricula can be adopted by different health profession division programs at other institutions across the country, and hopefully make an impact upon the healthcare services that are available to this very unique and underserved population.